Hey there guys, so today is uh, March 8th and uh, it's balmy 7 degrees but it's a little breezy and the sun is just barely out so it actually feels a little cooler than what it probably should but today we're going soil sampling. Well what is soil sampling Mike? Well let's get to that here in a little bit. Alright, other than the fact that we're working on sprayers, we're putting floaters on, um, we're working on air drills, now we're trying to literally finalize uh, seeding. Um, Decisive Farming came down with their vehicle here and we're going to do some soil sampling. Alright, so uh, we all have to convoy out of here. Well, uh, not Ken and I. This is Ken. Ken is awesome. Hi. You want to be like Ken, believe me. You want to be like Ken. And if you look in my rear view mirror, we got a convoy of three vehicles back there. So right now we're just gonna head off to a field and we'll see you there. So you should probably get to know Ken a little bit. Um, I've known Ken for a lot of years. Um, he actually worked for, uh, Ken, who'd you work for again? I spent most of my life working for Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada at the Swift Current Research Center. And basically spent a lot of time doing salinity research and all the crop research that kind of goes with crops that were salt tolerant. So I guess I should probably introduce you to the crew. That's Damon. Damon, you're from, I'm from Shaunavan, the Shaunavan area. Manager for Southwest Saskatchewan. Wait, what is that again? I missed that. Sorry, I'm the territory manager for Southwest Saskatchewan here. Awesome. I think I'm supposed to deal with Damon when I have uh, decisive farming type questions. And then we got Kayla. Hi. And uh, I, used, I used to deal with Kayla, and then she got sick of me, and then she just pushed me off to Damon. <laughs> <laughs> So, Kayla, what do you, what's your... I'm the CSR for his territory as well as Dean, so I cover the whole south okay. of Saskatchewan. Yeah. Okay, you got that? Okay, and <laughs> you, already, you already met Ken. And now we're just going to go wander over here and meet this guy. You know, I kind of want to take that thing out for a spin. I know they won't let me, but uh, we should probably do a review on this thing. It looks pretty awesome, not going to lie. This thing looks like a lot of fun. It is. Oh yeah, and this is Ethan, right? What's that? It's Ethan, right? What's your name? Claire. Ethan? Claire. Claire. Yeah. I wasn't anywhere as close. So uh, we actually have been using Decisive Farming now for a little while. Um, actually, we use Farmer's Edge too. So we use Farmer's Edge and Decisive Farming. Uh, Decisive is down here to punch some holes. And uh, that's the rig they're going to use. And I hope that with all of our help, we can answer some of the questions that are most likely going to arise. So, I have a Maverick, and I kind of want to race him. He has tracks, it's not fair, but... That's a sweet looking rig! It does the trick. <laughs> so, Kayla, did you say that he already has his GPS look points ready to go? Yep. Yeah, so the GIS team will make them okay. in-house. Okay. Who's the GSI team? The GIS. There are. Did like you say GS or GSI? GIS. GIS. Yes. <laughs> I'm really struggling today. I'm really no, struggling. GIS team. So they produce all the satellite imagery and the maps. Okay. And then they produce the soil points so that we can come back next year. Okay. To the same so place. we're trying to do the same spots every time. That's right. They're all benchmarked. That makes sense. Yep. So the spots have already been predetermined out in my field. And now he's just loading up his maps. That's what we're waiting for. That we'll wait for him and then, okay. then we're gonna get a 101 kind of a tour of this puppy okay so I thought I would just talk a little bit here while they're preparing and they're doing that so Ken is like I've I've dealt with Ken now with the uh, Pioneer Co-op uh, for a lot of years and he's just a really good friend of mine we hang out quite often then you have Damon uh, he's my now go-to guy with decisive then there's Kayla who's over Damon I do believe and then there is Blair who's in charge of uh, I think he's like the manager or CEO or something of, I could be wrong, don't hold me that, of the whole punching soil sampling side of Decisive Farming. We will not 
double check that with them to make sure I didn't step on someone's toes. And uh, so I have them all down here because I want to make sure that we can answer some of your questions because I got a lot of questions. My first question is if he's gonna let me drive that thing. It's my first question. Ken and I were just noting, as you'll see, there is no snow down here. Uh, we pretty much already had our runoff. Well, Mike, I have some questions. I figured you probably would. Would you not want to do this, I don't know, like in the fall, not the spring? Ken, wouldn't we want to do this in the fall and not the spring, buddy? Well, there's two best times to soil sample. The okay. First, the best time to soil sample is immediately before seeding. Okay. The second best time to soil sample is any other time. Okay. So typically, <laughs> okay, any other time. <laughs> typically, you'd want a soil sample in the fall because okay. time allows you to do that. And, and typically, if you soil sample in the fall, like we're so far behind around here, not, nothing to do with Ken or Decisive. Mike is so far behind that he's almost caught up. But uh, one of the reasons why we would want to soil sample in the fall is so that way we could look at our results. And if you were going to run VR, variable rate, your fertilizer and stuff like that, we would want to know that prior to booking our fertilizer. Where right now, our fertilizer is already booked. In fact, it's in bin. So basically, we're just kind of doing a last minute quick check to make sure nothing, no anomalies or everything looks somewhat okay. And Mike, I know you got other questions. Mike, do you soil sample every field? No, we don't. That would cost a ton. What we do is uh, we start at one side of the farm. We punch some holes in lentils all the way across, punch some holes in derm all the way across, punch some holes in chickpea stubble all the way across just to kind of get a general idea of what we're looking at. Right? That's kind of what we're doing. Yep. So now we're still waiting for some maps to load. Kind of reminds me of loading up my decisive maps on the X30. Don't. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so Blair's going to give us a walk around and a 101 of his uh, unit that he's going to let me drive. He just doesn't know that yet. And uh, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this thing, I kind of feel like, uh, forget soil sampling, I kind of want to just take it up and go trailing with it up north. That's kind of what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, uh, but be a blast. I guess since you guys are here for official business, well, we should probably take a peek. So what do we got in here? That's what I want to know. Can I come around the other side? Yeah. Or? yeah okay, I'll come around, around the other side. side. How come, uh, how come you have Telus, Telus on your door? Uh, last December, yeah, 2019, we were actually acquired by Telus Agri or Telus, and oh. they launched Telus Agriculture, which there's, uh, I believe it's seven other businesses they acquired. Okay. To launch a full circle service of the farm. Okay. So. So. That's new. So they yep. kind of, okay. Yeah, they're getting into the egg. Space. I didn't realize that they were getting into the egg. Yep, I thought they just had poor cell service. I didn't realize they were getting into the egg. Yep. <laughs> Not, Not just telephones anymore. <laughs> no, okay. Yep. Okay, so, um, so I see that you have uh, kind of removed the back seat. Yep. Um, is, this is, uh, that's, that is now the seat. Yeah, we'll set up a box on here to Kay. box up our soil. Okay. Collect. Okay. So. In the vehicle we built Ooh, in there we go can I get through here we built in this uh, hydraulic system so hydraulic. this is literally welded to the floor yeah I, I feel like you must have put a false floor in here because that looks mighty thick how thick is that uh, this is three eighths yeah okay yeah and so then uh, we so you welded this, this on yeah hydraulic lines you got a hydraulic pump on this truck then yeah, it's in the box of the truck it's okay an electric hydraulic pump okay and so we'll take these two foot probes Hook it onto the cylinder. See if I can right see here. down here. I can pick the one. Fits. Maybe I have to. Uh, Maybe I need to pick it up. Yeah. Trying to find a good angle go. for you guys here. So there's a probe, two foot probe. Yep. Okay. So we'll hook it onto the cylinder here. Okay, just like and that. We'll run it. And it's hydraulic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna take a peek yep. underneath the truck here. Ah. Oh. Isn't the best spot, yeah, it's kind of hard to be the approach. Yeah. Hey, you want to just drive into the field? Yeah, sure. yeah, let's go just let's go drive in the field and do this. So if he has predetermined spots, Kayla, is he going to go to his predetermined spot right now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you guys through the mic, but <laughs> oh, I guess I should have brought my rubber boots. Yeah. That's why he has tracks. 
So we don't get to ride in the box is what you're saying or? <laughs> well, I see how it is. Okay, is this the predetermined spot? No. Okay. It'll probably be somewhere out in the field. There's multiple. Actually. Is there? Yeah. Can we go to a predetermined spot? For sure. So we can actually see the whole thing done? Yep. How do I, uh, Ken, how are we gonna get around here? We're gonna have to get on this thing here somehow. We're gonna have to. We're gonna go have some fun. <laughs> Ken and I. Uh, we don't want to get stuck. We don't have to get added to the stuck list. We have a farm stuck list, and that's <laughs> that is newly restarted. Oh. 2021. 2021. Pin it, Harry. <laughs>